With this video, we're going to take a quick look at the dispatcher console as a part of the field service lightning product built on Salesforce. So as the dispatcher of all my technicians, all my service resources out there in the field, I want to come to this console to understand who's scheduled, if there are any overlapping conflicts there, do they have time to take their breaks, um, or to make last minute decisions accurately to find the best resource. So from here, we see that Alex, Gloria, Harry, and Louise all have service appointments during the day. So if I just click on Alex's, I can see the start and finish. I can see the due dates. And if I just double click this, it'll bring up all of the service appointment information, work order information, as well as anything that's related to any skills and any additional service appointments that are here. Now, if I click on, if I just control click here, and I want to get other candidates here. I, I feel like there's someone that could do the job better or Alex can't make it. So I want to click get candidates. And what Field Service Lightning will do is it will find the most accurate candidates for that job. So we can see Alan Reed, he's going to be the best guy for this job. So we'll schedule him for um, 3.42 p.m. and then we will assign. And so that has been assigned out. So if we come back to today. Um, so what happens if I drag something on there that was not, that interferes with the calendar? So if I drop this, let's say here, so watch how the fix overlaps feature works within field service. It's not going to allow that to be done um, because of the fix overlaps feature that comes with field service lightning. So we'll give it, you know, about 30 seconds there. So what it is doing, it is, it is pushing it out. Now we're still cutting it pretty close, but, and I'm able to, you know, drag this a little bit along the way. Um, so that it doesn't interfere with my designated break time as well. Um, so you'll need to go back in and deflag that, but um, in essence, we've we've made this so it's error proof to be able to reconfigure schedules here within the console. Now we've done that. So if I if I click if I double click again, um, let's there we go. So what I can do at the same time is I can reschedule this as well as what we saw with get candidates. I can change the status straight in here. So I can change, let me go back. I can change the status to dispatched. And then that's going to change the color. And all of these can be color coded to reflect different work types and work orders, as well as what status they're in. And from here, what I want to do is I want to look at the map. I want to get more of a visualization. So from here, what I can see is two things. Um, I can see all of my territories. So I might have all my service territories outlined here in the Los Angeles area. And I'll be able to see that work order that I just dispatched right here. And I can reschedule them in real time as well. Perfect. So with the map feature, as well as that Gantt style chart, it allows you to really configure this view to be as flexible with certain rules and align it with the skills that are needed to record and to allocate those service resources in the most efficient way possible. 